in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host or the gatekeeper of this particular program, known here on what some may still call the World Wide Web. I am known as the Mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snup Nup Seven, Soul Brother Number One. I am Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to send this message in particular to a black man called Tommy Sotomayor. Now, not only does this message I wish to resonate towards Tommy, but many others of whom they know I have tried to uh, contact and speak with, and I've made videos in response to their opinion, and yet I receive nothing in return. And I wonder, why is that? Does my uh, breath stink over the internet? I'm not wearing the right clothing for you to respond to. I'm just your brother. I'm just a person who wishes to have dialogue because I am here not to teach. I am here to bring us advice and make suggestion on what we should do in order to solve the problem within the dilemma that we find ourselves in. No more, no less. I'm not here to make mockery of you. I'm not here to uh, take over the number one spot. I'm not here to do none of those things. I am here looking for a sincere effort to resolve these issues that have plagued the so-called black community ever since we or our ancestors became enslaved within the confines of this nation. I reach out to you not to debate, not to argue. I reach out to you because I want to learn. I am never so big. I am not so arrogant that I cannot be taught. I am not so big and so arrogant that I can't learn something from someone other than myself. And this is something that you must understand. I don't mind being taught. However, I guess the problem is that in order for you to teach me, in order for you to give me good advice for me, that advice, that teaching must pass the criteria of logic, reasoning, being analyzed, being examined, being investigated, logic and common sense. If it is religious based, it does not pass because religion is based in belief and belief does not require common sense, logic, reason in any of the aforementioned things that I just said. Does not require. So you're getting angry because I reject your advice and your common sense that I have no control over, that's your problem. I cannot accept advice and suggestions that is rooted or its foundation is found within a fictional type of, uh, uh, of origin or makeup because a fictional fantasy answer 
cannot help us dealing with real problems. Only a real solution can deal with a real problem. I will though listen to you. Unlike you will do for me, you will not listen to what I have to say. You will not give what I say a chance, but I will examine and I will listen. So that is why I can respond to you the way I do, because I did not just hear you. I actually listen to what you have to say. And because I was listening, then I can break down and and as they say in religion, see what you talk about as food, as spiritual food, and I take that in, then I examine it and I digest it. That's why I can speak to you the way that I do. In religious teachings, and you say, well, if you are not religious, how can you use religious teachings? There is good in all things. We need to know how to take the fruit and throw away the seeds, throw away the core, throw away the stem, cut away the skin if you want, and only take that which is or what you find nutritional and good. So that's what I do in religion. That is what I do with many of the opinions that I listen to on, on social media and in the world. But in religious teachings, it comes from this book called the Holy Quran. It says that Allah created us and we began as a clot. And that clot began to evolve until it reached its eventual perfection. See, somebody like me, although I understand exactly what is being said, my problem is, what is perfection? Exactly what is that? What is the criteria of being perfect? But I can understand how we begin as a clot, how we begin as nothing to speak of, and we grow and we begin to evolve into the man or the woman that eventually we become. So I'm seeking to evolve. I'm seeking to grow because I have a I have a sincere desire. And all of you, including Mr. Tommy Sotomayor, all of us, we claim that we wish and have a desire for a better day, a better future, a better destiny, and leave a better legacy for these who are the descendants of slaves born in America having dark skin for uh, our people to better the condition. And there are so many teachings. There are so many opinions. Or there is so much advice because I don't teach, I bring us advice. I don't teach, I bring us suggestions. I'm not looking to seek followers or converts. I don't want you to be the way that I am. I want us free. That's the first thing. All these other things can be dealt with after you secure your liberation, after you secure your true freedom of which we know and all of us know that we don't have. So in order to solve this problem, it must be real. I must grow. And I must remove all the error, all the flaw, the all the all the so-called imperfections out of myself. But that cannot be done if I reject truths. And many of us, we are ones who reject truth. It is simple as that. Again, referencing religious text, it says that the truth shall set you free. So if we as a people have been in this nation physically free, 
since the 19, I mean, since the 1800s, late 1800s, and we have been receiving truth, then the question must be raised, why are not you free? But yet there is so much truth. The church says it has the truth, but the people are still in a slave-like condition. The mosque says that they bring us truth, but yet and still we are in this slave-like condition. Those who scream black power say they have truth and we still remain in this condition. And I could go on and on. And these things have been tried. What comes from this ministry and what I advise and what I suggest has not been tried. So this truth, we don't know if it will work or not. However, these other so-called truths, and this is where the anger comes from, people have become loyal to these truths. They have failed, but yet and still, you want to co continue to keep trying and keep going in that direction. And this is a sign of insanity to believe you can do uh, something and expecting a different result doing the same thing. This is insanity. So, basically what I'm saying is that I can accept your truth. Just because people don't like Tommy Sotomayor, they reject your truth. I embrace truth. However, also your problem is when you bring up things that do not pass the criteria of logic, reasoning, common sense, being analyzed and investigated, what happens is although we speak truth, we have these things that can spoil that truth and keep people from accepting that truth because of that error, because of that flaw. And we see that we're not worthy or many reject what we have to say because of these things. It's like putting a bad apple among good apples. It seems that bad apple seems to spoil the rest of the basket. And this is what we want to try to avoid. Many of us want people to praise us and honor us and call us divine and the honorable. We're not really interested in truth. We're not really interested in curing the illness that have come among our people and us as individuals. I want to say and bring up two things before I close this particular talk. What I noticed about Tommy Sotomayor. Well, well, first of all, I noticed that I have made many videos placing your name in the title. And yes, I'm looking for views. You put Madonna, you put President Obama, you put Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, and you put girls fighting wildly. You put all these things in title so your material, your opinion can be heard. So if using Tommy Sotomayor gets me views, then so be it. I am not ashamed yet. No big deal. It's done all the time. I have had people that use my name or try to make reference to me and the people know who they are talking about. So see, there are those who try to be slick. I don't put your name in my title. But the people that you're talking with know who I am or uh they eventually will know. 
So it's the same thing. So let's not try, you know, Mr. Slick stuff. But I noticed with Tommy, you don't like talking about, and I, I've noticed that you haven't, you have no videos about domestic violence. I noticed that Caucasian pink people, they don't really speak about racism and racial issues. Most times when you are guilty of something, you don't want to talk about those things. So Mr. Sotomayor does not speak about domestic violence because he's guilty and you don't want to bring that subject up. And why wouldn't you want to bring that subject up? The reason why Caucasian people and even Mr. Tommy Sotomayor does not want to talk about domestic violence, the reason why Caucasian people don't want to speak about racism or racial issues is because they have done nothing to heal the injury that they have caused. In fact, to my knowledge, Mr. Uh, Sotomayor still continues to talk about how he will beat a woman. Caucasian people continue to shoot black folks in the street, discriminate against black people, paint us as clowns and all these other negative stereotypes. Nothing has changed. That's why they don't want to talk about these issues. Then you don't want to bring that out front because you're trying to paint yourself as this righteous, holy person, and you're not. Until you deal with these demons in yourself, until Caucasian America deals with these demons, until Tommy Sotomayor deals with these demons, then you're nothing you cannot be taken, you cannot be trusted, nor can your truth or your advice. And it is also funny with Tommy, and I will say this very quickly, it's funny how he starts beefs and then he plays victim and has this sad face, but he uh, participated in these things and looked like he was having fun. Especially when he loses the the, uh, the 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 beef for interaction, he comes on and put on this sad face. <laughs> Tommy, you're a funny guy. I hope that you will respond. None of your your people because they they don't know what they're talking about. They just blind followers. I I want to talk to Tommy Sotomayor and even the racist pink people. Let us have dialogue. Let us be truthful and let us. If you're sincere, let us try to resolve this problem. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. Peace out. Oh, wow. <laughs> I ended the video too quickly. <laughs> I thought I had the timer set for 18 minutes and 10 seconds, and I changed it to 19 minutes and 30 seconds. My bad. So we get to spend a little bit more time with one another. But I just wanted to, uh, I just, it, it makes me smile about how some of these people, you know, they behave. But I like, uh, as, a, as a person, his personality, and I respect the talents of Tommy Sotomayor. And again, you know, to him and Caucasian people, if you are sincere, then Stop acting as though you're perfect. There are demons within yourself that you need to heal. And when people see and they can feel that you have healed those demons, you will get a better response. Otherwise, you'll be viewed as a faker, a hypocrite, and somebody that is a clear enemy. Now, that's the end.